Nice leg you got there. Go, no, I be there face. first. Hey, get your own pole. That is mine. How come I lick people who but they never licked me back? <laughs> he was trying to make both ends meet. have spawned. Thought you saw that coming. Huh, I should have warned you. Slave. That was a bit too easy, no? <laughs> Attack! Attack! That was a bit too easy. No? Be right back, you rock! under attack.
Uh, it's really like giving me uh, an education badly needed. So the meal swap is over, and it's time for Dr. Christian to give Sam and Michael their personalised meal plans. So, guys, you've done it. You've got to the end of the diet swap, and you're going home. And it wasn't as bad as you thought, was it? No, it wasn't. I'll answer that for you. So, <laughs> Michael, this one's yours. Two things. Boredom, portion size. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I mean? 100%. Sam, this one is yours. And look, I know with your job it can be difficult. If this is going to work, food has to come first. It has to be your number one priority. Do that and you'll see great successes. Both of you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Michael's plan drastically reduces his portion sizes and swaps crisps for healthier options, cutting his calorie intake by half to 2,500 a day. Sam's plan more than doubles his daily intake to 2,800 calories and calls for him to make time for meals. He needs to start eating breakfast and lunch and add healthy snacks in between. It's been eye-opening and the yesterday was the hardest bit. My stomach was going all knotty and stuff. Quite clearly there are some issues that need addressing, such as my uh, salt intake and my portion sizes. A future. I have been very shocked, and I've been... Is under attack. Enemy missing right. Your middle tower is under attack. Two kills.
Your middle tower is under attack. has fallen. Quick, reinforce his guard. Middle tower okay. under attack. I'll defend left lane. On a rampage. Someone stop them. No, seriously, stop them. An ally has been slain. Enemy missing middle. Okay. Will this make me look? Like a handsome pupper. chose to fight us. It is only their fault. An enemy has been slain. I love you my bandana. Fury! Your 
left tower Please? is under attack. Your left Unmarried. tower has tactical fury. Eye. Tactical fury. Lysor. Your team has destroyed the Your middle tower is under attack. Let me, let me. Your left tower is under attack. Your right tower is under attack. Enemy missing right. Okay. Enemy has been slain. Thanks. You rock. under attack your right tower has been destroyed Remember your eyes. 
been very disappointed in myself. Young people. We're in the middle of a clean food revolution. Corgetti spaghetti, cauliflower rice, quinoa, the mighty kale. We can't get enough. Or can we? A totally different food phenomenon is taking over in the high streets. And you can't see much of the cause yet here. This is where you'll find lots of honey, chips, crispy duck, pizza, fried rice, sweet and sour pork, chocolate fountains. There is so much. Hundreds of all-you-can-eat restaurants are opening every year, with one chain opening a new branch every single week. More chicken tikka, please. More chicken tikka. It's not just a meal. Uh. It's an entire experience. Please make some noise! <laughs> So stuff your lentils, your wheatgrass and couscous. The fad diet Britain really loves is beating the buffet. Because I'm British, we never give up. They always come in with a mission. I'm going to eat the house down. Welcome to the mouth-watering world of the all-you-can-eat. We Brits spend an average of over four grand a year on dining out. But a beating out used to be for rich people, celebrities, and anyone who couldn't stand being around their own family. Now everybody wants to get stuck in. If you look at dining now, it's much more experiential. So besides great quality food, people are looking for experiences. Once, a birthday blow up meant a trip to the Trattoria, bring your own cake and candles, and pray the waiter didn't sing. But now, well now, we want the world. And we can have it, as all you can eat restaurants offer all the food on earth. And all under one roof. Look at that. I know, but I have to pay for that. No. At Flames World Buffet in Worcester, you can get 50 different meals for less than seven quid. Leicester, the culinary town best known for its crisps, now offers Moore's Live Social Dining Theatre that actually encourages you to stuff your faces. Eat! More! Live! More! Love! More! Don't do it, guys. Even the Chinese buffet in St. Helens is in on the act. You can visit the food as many times as you like. Offering limitless sweet and sour chicken, pork spur ribs and that well-known Chinese delicacy, pizza. Nice. I mean, this isn't the world we want our children to grow up in. Then what the hell is? Here you go, guys. Would you like some lolly? Only one. <laughs> but for every customer, happy to enjoy a nice, gentle meal and go home. Uh, uh, oh, table for two, please, please, yeah. please yeah. There are those who really want to show the buffet who's boss. This is Chris. He's an absolute buffet monster. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one type of restaurant. It is the eat all you can buffet. You getting a drink? I think really we're gonna eat, we're we're here to eat, aren't we? We're going for a drink. Can we like get this, like a jug so. of tap water. I like to make sure I'm full up, and I like value for money. I like variety. Combine all three. And just go to an eat all you can. To make sure customers like this can stuff their faces across the ten branches. The Chinese buffet kitchen is primed to serve a gut-busting two tons of food every night. So this is the central production kitchen. Over here we have the crispy chicken being made in the large pots. Crispy chicken we'll do about half a ton a week across the branches, and it's the alternative to the crispy duck where we do about one and a half tons in a week. Think of it like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, but with pork balls and no Willy. This is a family show. Moving along, our sweet and sour sauce is a bit more popular than the other sauces, and we do in the region of eight to nine hundred litres of sweet and sour sauce per week for the ten branches. 
Here we have the chicken being produced. At the moment, the guys, they're making a skewered chicken, which are the ones on the sticks. It's chicken breast per week. We go to about four tonnes. It's bad news for poultry. That's about 2,700 chickens every week. We're probably using a region of about 15,000 of these eggs per week across 10 branches. And of course, it is the Chinese buffet and it is a Chinese cuisine, so if we move on to rice, the most famous of all, your average car at home weighs about one and a half tonnes. So if you put two cars next to each other on a scale, that's how much rice we'll sell in a week across 10 branches. With streams of customers paying 15 quid per head for limitless meals, this one branch can bring in up to 12 grand a night, just on food. Let's go. Let's, the battle commence. Oh, there's too much choice. It's better to look round and the see whole place is. first. Chris has two hours of solid eating ahead of him, and he's got a whole game plan to help him fill his face.